Hello everyone, this is Malek and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to construct the GitOps workflow from end-to-end -end using GitLab CI Argo CD with Helm chart. Today our presentation is based on the following components GitLab CI pipeline, Helm charts, and continuous deployment using Argo CD. For running this presentation, we need to have a GitLab account. It doesn't matter if you are using gitlab.com or your local GitLab server. Also, we need access to a Kubernetes cluster. If you have a cloud account on one of the public cloud provider like AWS, Google Cloud, OCI, and so on, you can bring up a cluster and use that. And maybe these public clouds charge you. Also, there are another choice to bring up a Kubernetes cluster on your local machine. If you are using Windows or Mac machine, you can install and configure Rancher Desktop on your computer. Really, I have recorded a video about how to install and configure Rancher Desktop on Windows machine and I pinned its link about this video and by click on it, you can access to it and configure Rancher Desktop on your computer. If you are using Linux Ubuntu distribution or Windows Sub Linux, you can use Multipass package to bring up quickly a Kubernetes cluster on your local machine. So these two steps are mandatory to run the labs of this presentation. What we want to do in this presentation. In a start developer will push source code data in the first repository and also will push the Helm charts in manifest repository. In second run, we will configure GitLab CI.yaml file in the first repository. As soon as we commit the change on this file, the GitLab CI pipeline will run and build an image from the source code and automatically tag it and then push it to an image registry like Docker Hub or GitLab image registry. Then automatically we'll update Helm chart in the second repository and Argo CD will understand something happened on manifest. Then Argo CD syncs itself with the new change and deploy the latest change on Kubernetes cluster. In continue, based on the diagram you see here, we need to create two repository on GitLab server. The first one is to version control of our application source code in this repository and we will push our application code here. And second repo, is to version control of or helm charts for deployment to kubernetes cluster so let's connect to my account on gitlab.com and create these two repositories there before continue if still you didn't subscribe my channel i will appreciate if you do it let's continue here is my GitLab account. So let's create the first repo with this name. Create blank project. Let's name it code repo. And let's leave it as private 
and create code project let's create the second one and name it as manifest repo also leave it as private one and create project so both of the repositories have been created so let's start and push the data to the first repository let's go into terminal and here in this folder there is nothing let's clone the first repository here back to gitlab.com and from my code repo clone it back to terminal git clone and paste the address of the repository enter it start and cloning that repo ls cd code repo ls just there is readme file here let's copy the project code here okay i did copy the data here let's push them on gitlab git status add all the files again git status and as you see at the moment all the file can be tracked so git commit minus am files added to repo and git push let's back to browser and refresh page here you see our docker file and source code copy here this is my project it's a login page by html and css code and also here is the docker file and it will go and create an image from the source code and in same way let's copy the helm chart to the second repository ls as you see i did copy the helm chart to the second repository and let's back to browser and as you see here they are push to repository on gitlab dot okay so far so good let's back to diagram so i did copy the source code and docker file here and also i push the helm charts in this repository so before continue and start with gitlab ci we have to bring up argo cd in kubernetes cluster if you know how to bring up the argo cd you can bypass this section let's do it just for quick argo cd installation on kubernetes type this title on google and from the result click on the first one so here is the official website of argo cd and here you will see install argo cd just there are two commands the first one it will create a namespace it's called argo cd and the second one in this namespace will install argo cd so let's copy the first one back to terminal and paste it here okay argo cd namespace has been created let's go in and copy the next command copy and paste it in terminal okay it's done let's type kubectl dash n argo cd the namespace and get all all the object related to argo cd have been installed and in running status look here there are some pods related to that they are in running status also services deployment and replica set as you see all the services expose as the cluster ip here so for access to argo cd web ui from the external we need to expose argo cd server as node port or load balancer but here i'm going to change this cluster ip to node port how do that just type kubectl dash n argo cd edit service 
Argo CD server and going down and change the type to node port. Just save it and exit. It's edited. If I run again kubectl n Argo CD get all, you will see it changed to node port and automatically got this port. So we can access it from outside of Kubernetes cluster. Okay, let's find the IP address of Kubernetes node. kubectl get node dash o wide. And this is the IP address of the node. Let's grab this IP, going to browser, paste it here. Let's get the port, take this port and back to browser and paste it here. Look here, advance, continue. And here is the Argo CD web UI. For credential, let's back to Argo CD official website. And here after install that, let's going down and you will see download Argo CD CLI. So we need to install Argo CD CLI. Then we can retrieve the admin password to connect Argo CD web UI. As it is mentioned here, also available in different operating system. How to do that? Here there is a documentation about it, but if going to Google and quickly type install Orgo CD CLI in Linux and from the result, click on the first one. Here you see the installation on different operating system. Let's go in here and using download with curl. So copy this one back to terminal. Okay, it's done ls. Here you see it is downloaded. So let's let's back to Argo CD website and copy the second command back here, paste it here, installed, and let's grab the last one and remove the downloaded file. Okay, good. Let's back to official document. This one is downloaded and installed. Just let's going down and here you see login using the CLI. Let's grab this command to get the initial password for the admin account. Here is the password for the admin account. Just copy this one back to Argo CD web UI, type admin and password and sign in. Here you are. This is Argo CD web UI. It has been installed and ready to use in project. Okay, now it's the time to start config GitLab CI CD pipeline in code repository. Before continue, let's have a look to Helm chart and see its configuration. In manifest repo, let's click on this folder and you see all the charts file are here. So let's open value.yaml. Look to image here. It will go and pull this image from this location to deploy on Kubernetes cluster. So by CICD, at first we have to create this image and publish to this repository then this chart can pull it and deploy on cluster. Let's back to code repo. Let's create a new file and call it .gitlab-ci.yaml file. In the first line, we start to define our stages. Here, at first, we need to build an image. So let's define a build a stage. So a stages, just we have one stage at the moment, it's called build for image building. Now let's define our job. We call it build image. If you want to find the correct syntax for this file going to google 
and type how to push image on GitLab and from the result click on the first one and going down use GitLab CI CD and we can use one of these example here for example let's copy this one and back to GitLab CI file just paste it here let's remove this one because we want to use this name for our job this job is going to use this image let's remove this one and automatically use the latest image of docker which stage build only we have at the moment one stage and here there is a services it's called dind it means docker in docker let's remove this one and use the latest one if your gitlab runner is based on docker it will bring up a docker machine on gitlab runner that also is a docker it's called docker in docker let's remove this one at the moment in a script section at first you have to log in on image registry it doesn't matter which image registry you are using docker hub or gitlab or another server you have to log in on that server here we are going to use gitlab image registry so we have to log in it for login to each image registry we have to use these parameters dash u dash u it means your username so after that we have to define username dash p it means password after that we have to define the password and then the address of the image registry here as you see on code we are going to use some variables these variables are predefined variables on GitLab CI CD the full list of these variables you can search by Google for this title and you will find this page here the full list of all the variable that we can use in GitLab CI CD pipeline so let's back here this variable retrieve or username and this one retrieve or password automatically from the GitLab and add to this line and this variable automatically retrieve the address of registry.gitlab.com after login we need to build our image from the code that we pushed on this repository in the second line it will go and build image for us but you see there is a variable here it is not a predefined variable let's see what we can use in a state of this variable from the left side if i go to deploy and container registry let's open in another tab at the moment is empty let's go down here you see the full command that you can use in the script section the first one we did describe that the second line should be like this let's copy this one back here docker build dash t and in a state of this variable it should be like this so we can copy this one and define this variable how to do that just come here and type variables and copy this one put it here copy this one and paste it here we can remove this one but still something is missing so this is the address of gitlab registry that our image should publish there so we need to make a name for our image which name so here i defined another variable called application name and use this variable here this is our image name and the image will be like this one this one is the image name and this section 
is the address of the location that our image is located. Normally, each image, when we build it, has a version. At the moment, our code is version 1. After a while, we change our code and we have to build a new image and call it, for example, version 2 and so on. And here, we need to define a version tag. For example, version 1. And the next time, if we want to build a new image, we have to change it. But we can make this one also automatically. Instead of using version 1, we can use something like that. Here, I'm using this variable. This is a predefined variable. And here, instead of using version 1 or version 2 or so on, and here, it will go and use the hash code of or commit. When we commit each change to GitLab has a hash code. So it will go and use the eight digit of hash code as a tag for our image. It's done after the image is built. It will go and push it to GitLab image registry. So let's commit and we will see what will happen. Here also it show you your syntax is correct. If there is a mistake here, we'll show you your syntax is not correct. Okay, let's click on this one. Here it's in running status. Click on it. Job succeed. Look here. Here login succeed. And next command build an image. And the last one is push it to GitLab container image registry. In the next tab, let's see if I refresh this page. Look here, code repo, login demo. Here is the eight digit of hash that is attached to our commit. Here is the image name. So far, so good. So let's continue and add new changes. Okay, until now, image build and push to GitLab image repository. So in next step, we have to update manifest in Helm chart. Here we have to define a new stage in GitLab CI pipeline to do it automatically for us. So let's back to GitLab and define a new stage. I'm going to call it update Helm chart. So for this stage, we have to define a new job. So going here and define a new job for this stage. So what we have to write here before continue, let's explain what we want to do automatically. Normally, GitLab CI bring up a Docker machine on GitLab runner. Imagine like this Docker machine. Here, this Docker machine on GitLab runner should go and clone the manifest repo. Let's back to GitLab. Here is manifest repo. Let's clone it back to Docker machine. Here, just for test, let's build a directory, for example, test demo and switch inside that. Here, imagine this Docker machine should clone this repo automatically. You see the first challenge. As my repository is a private one, need their name and password to clone this repository. So what we have to do? We cannot hard code 
or username and password in CI CD pipeline. From the security side, it's not a good choice. The best choice is to create SSH key. As you know, when we create SSH key, it will generate a public and private one. So we can put the public one on GitLab server as a public SSH key and also define a variable in our project for private one and use this variable in CI CD and it will solve this problem. Okay, so far so good. So for this project, for this project, I did generate SSH key cd.ssh and ls. Look here, we have a private key and public key. Let's open this one and grab the content of the public one and add it on my account on GitLab. Let's go into GitLab, click on your account, edit profile, and from the left side, you see SSH key. Just add a new key and paste it here and define a title for it. Really, here I did it before and for the title, you can select every name you want. So the public site is done. Let's back to project. So which project we have to use, which repository, code repo or manifest repo, we are using code repo because our GitLab CI pipeline located here. So click here from the left side, going down, setting CI CD and find the variable, expand it here. Here you will find CI CD variables and just add variable leave everything as is just define a key and put the value here here it will be a variable so i did it before just i selected this one ssh underline private key and added my ssh private key in the value section okay so this two section is done if I back to terminal, clear the screen, again cd, test on the line demo. So here, in a state of using HTTPS for cloning, remove it and using the SSH one. Let's back to GitLab, going to manifest repo, click on code and going up and clone with ssh copy url back to terminal and if i paste it here and enter no request for enter username or password so if i do any change on this repository i can push it with any problem i hope you got this sense how GitLab runner will take care of it. So let's go into CI CD and define all this step to do it automatically for us. Let's back to GitLab CI CD and writing all this step to do automatically for us. So let's start and use an image. Which image we want to use? Here, I'm gonna use this image, Ubuntu 22. Before running the main script, we have to do some steps. At first, on this Ubuntu, going update all repositories, install open SSH client, because when you install Ubuntu, maybe you don't have SSH client on it. So 
we have to update and install SSH client and git on it. In next step, it will go and create .ssh folder. Because this .ssh, it doesn't exit by default. When you generate SSH key, this folder will be created. But here, we don't need to generate any SSH key. Before, we did, and here, we want to use it. So here, we create .ssh folder on their root, then from this variable. As you remember from some seconds ago, we did create this variable in CICD variables and assign it the private key. So here it will go and retrieve the private code and add it to this file under .ssh folder. Then we change the permission on this file, just read and write. And in next step, there is amazing command. Let's go into our Docker machine again. For example, for the first time, we want to do SSH to a remote host. Just type SSH and add the remote host address, for example, to this host. For the first time when I enter here, it will ask you, are you sure to continue? So here we need to type manually yes. So when it do it automatically by CICD, how we can bypass this one in a state of typing yes manually. Let's control C back here with this command ssh dash key scan and the remote server name automatically will bypass that step and will add the host name to the known host and no need to type it manually let's see that copy back to docker machine to my server if I do enter, automatically it add to noun host. In this time, if I do SSH again and enter, here you see, no need to type yes. Yes, need the password. But, but for the CICD, as you remember, we added private and public SSH to our project. Let's back to CICD configuration. Okay, for the non host, we will change the permission. Good. So, going to the next step. So, before doing SSH, we have to load the private key. With these two commands, it will go and retrieve the private key and it will be ready to doing SSH on the remote host. So, before we doing any push by git, we need to define our user email and username. So then we'll go and clone the manifest repo. When it clone, just switch to it. Just I write this one to see the content of this folder. It is not mandatory. You can remove it. In the script section, it will go inside this file and we'll find the image name with any tags and replace with the new one then we'll commit the change and push it back to the manifest repository and everything will be done automatically so before i commit this change Let's find the latest tag that we did in the first stage. So from the deploy container registry, here there is only one tag and just let's copy image path back to manifest repo, going inside helm chart in value.yaml, 
I want to update this font for the first time manually. Edit this file and replace to this one and commit change. So at the moment, for the first time, my Helm chart is ready to use build image. Here at the moment, this is this tag. Let's back to GitLab pipeline and commit this change. If I go here and on pipelines, here you see it is in running status. Click on it and let's see what will happen. In the first stage, it will go and build image from our code and then will update Helm chart with this new build. Okay, both stages done successfully. So at first, if I back to deploy container registry, here you see new tags added here one minute ago. It's end with 64B. Let's go into manifest repo and refresh this page. Look here, it changed to the new one. 64B, 64B. So here, when we do any change in source code, automatically by pipeline, it will go and will build new image, push it to GitLab image repository, and then automatically update the Helm chart on manifest repository. So, Let's go to Argo CD and build new application. Here, Argo CD will pull the Helm chart and deploy it where? On Kubernetes cluster. Look here, Argo CD will go and pull the Helm chart and then deploy it on Kubernetes cluster. And every time, we do a change and new image build so the image on helm chart will be updated and then automatically argo cd will understand for this change and will deploy new changes to kubernetes cluster so let's go to argo cd and build application so before build application, we need to define manifest repo on Argo CD. Go to setting and in setting, going to repositories. In repositories, just connect repo. Choose your connection method. Here I'm using HTTPS. So the type is git. The project default repository url just going to the manifest repo and in code copy this address and back to argo cd web ui and paste it here username it's my gitlab username and my gitlab password paste it here and just connect look here successfully connected to this repository so argo cd connected to manifest repo back to argo cd so let's click here and start with new application application name every name you want you can define here just i define login application for example here you have to use lowercase project name default sync policy we can leave it as manual but we want to do it manually and going down from which source this manifest repository where in manifest repository in test login application there is a folder test login application so cluster url Automatically, there is one here, namespace, also default. 
we want to deploy our application in default namespace. Here you see automatically it determines this folder is a Helm chart and everything was read from the Helm chart is here. Just create. Look here, login application created by Argo CD. If I click here, you see here quickly it went and pulled the Helm chart from where? From the manifest repository and successfully deployed on Kubernetes cluster. On terminal, just type kubectl get pods. Here, look here. They are in running status. Deployment, one deployment with three pods inside that. Okay, so far so good. And also get services. Let's type kubectl get nodes dash o wide. Grab this one in browser and also let's grab the port back to browser and enter. Here you are. This is our application. Let's do a change on source code and see how CICD automatically take care of everything and see the result here on browser. Let's change the background. Let's back to GitLab in source code. Let's check in images. Here you see we have different background. Let's select the second one. Okay, back here and going to SRC in main CSS. And here you see at the moment we are using the first one. So let's edit single file and change to another background. Just I need to commit change. As soon as I did commit, the pipeline will start to run and build new image. After the image build, it will push it to image repository and also will update Helm chart. As soon as the Helm chart updated, Argo CD will deploy the new change to Kubernetes cluster. Let's see what will happen. Okay, everything done successfully. Let's back to image repository. New tags added here. Let's see. Look here, one minute ago, the new image with this tag 451 was pushed here. Let's go into the manifest repo and check values here. Look here, 451 updated here. Let's go into Argo CD. Automatically will determine this new change and will update the application. As you see here, the revision to generated. The first time we have created application, it was revision one, but after we did image change, it has created revision two. So let's go into browser and see what happened to application. Here you see the new change in background. So here we learn how with the help of GitLab CI CD pipeline, Helm chart and Argo CD, we can deploy our application on Kubernetes cluster. Here we arrive to the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, I will appreciate to like this video and comment your feedback to the comment section below this video. Thank you so much. See you in next video.